What's good everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel with yours truly, of course, Machiavelli. And today we're back with another episode of This Is For Life With The P. So we are back with Life With The Pearsons and of course we have our girl, Flora and god dang this guy's giving us the eyes but anyways we got Flora over here ooh nice crop top <laughs> I just say ooh nice crop top anyways but yeah Flora over here and we are on quote unquote vacations because vacations no vacation um mainly because our people uh our people but mainly because uh Flora not Flora Raya and Gianluca are going to find are pretty much going to be going house hunting today that's pretty much the goal i think i kind of messed it up a little bit because i didn't plot i didn't do something i have to do something first before we can go house hunting but that's what we're going to do today at around one o'clock we're gonna go to different houses check them out see if we like them or not and pretty much go about our business um but yeah i'm super excited for that and then also our girl decided that she was gonna take along because you know um, she needs to get away and she needs to think. Mainly that has to do with um that Seth. Um, as you guys know, Seth is not really the being supportive as she thought she would as she thought he would be. And again, you understand the reason why he's not being supportive. It's more of his insecure not insecurities, but his more of his worries getting the best of him. But of course she doesn't know that. Anyways, she just needed to get away to think because she's like saying to herself, like, yo, Flora, <laughs> this isn't you. Like what's going on like flora doesn't beg people you know like if she wants something she'll get it herself you know she might be confused about it but she will get it she'll work for it um and she's not the type of person to like lag around and she's been so leggy lately and she knows like listen if he doesn't want to you know move in together and he's not ready for that then that's fine you are a strong independent woman and you can do this and so she's she just had to get on her high horse and get away from that situation and say you know what I'm gonna look for houses too. So she's gonna go ahead and go house hunting too for herself because their lease is coming up at the end of the week. So they have so they have they have Sunday till Sunday to like leave. They have to move out by Monday. Monday is the latest after that is gone or else they have to sign a second lease, which they don't want to because um love that apartment but she needs more room for her child he needs more room for his kids they need bigger places so they can't resign their lease so they have to move out by monday which is scary because they're gonna be separated but anyways today we are gonna go house hunting that's the goal and right now we are actually at this really nice hotel um this is downstairs downstairs is where the restaurant is and upstairs is where the actual hotel is i was supposed to put this in oasis springs but i totally forgot so i'm gonna let this play right now and everyone can go ahead and do what they want to do but um we are gonna actually gonna go house hunting in a second i actually have to do something real quick um before i can let this work i need to go to manage worlds um let's say we go to manage world i need to actually plop down some people in the houses we're gonna check out for the main reason is we won't be able to access the house if nobody's in there. You see what I'm trying to say there? So um, I need to go plop down some random people into the house and I will be right back. <laughs> so we're back. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I have to go ahead and do something. So now we can go ahead and see the houses. But before we see the houses, we are actually going to go ahead and hit up a gym real quick. Just because why not? Why don't we do that before we head over to where we're supposed to go? Actually, it doesn't even matter. I have no clue where we're going to the gym. We'll just go straight to the houses because I'm excited to go see them. So if our houses are, of course, I look at a new crest. So which one is these three houses? So which one should we see first? Um, okay. Everyone's still in their house. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll visit this one first because I don't know. So I'll leave a poll. Hopefully, <laughs> remind me. I'll, see, I'll leave a poll on the side of the the screen to let me know what you guys think of which house we should take also in the comment below you can actually give me um your opinions if i don't actually put it on the side then let me know below which house do you guys want me to see them in so we'll take all three of them and should we just go with these two okay I'll, I'll start with all three of them and maybe she'll branch off and go to her own house hunt um, by herself she's definitely looking for something not too traditional um flora is definitely very i don't say edgy but she's definitely very Unordinary. She she wouldn't go for her Trisha. She'd go for her. Oh, it's raining. Isn't that 
beautiful okay <laughs> ain't that great but anyways this is the house so far this is the first one it is more of a modern type of house um i like the outside it's nice let's see the um so let's go ahead and knock on the door i totally forgot to put a mailbox so the mailbox is just sticking out right there so um we're gonna go ahead and knock on the door thank you um this little area it couldn't have been sunny today so anyways so you walk in and you get hit with this so this is actually the downstairs bathroom um no not bathroom this is a, this is the master bedroom downstairs and then you have the dining room kitchen um and then living room and i guess you have some more space right here it's very spacious downstairs um and then you have the backyard with the deck and then there's actually like a little tree if if, if i can see it there's, there's a tree right here but um there it is there's a tree right there which is cool so yeah that's how pretty much the first house looks well at least the downstairs and then let's actually i'll let this play out while we go upstairs i'll let them go ahead and search out and see what they like so when you go upstairs you actually have a few spaces you have a bedroom here um, why don't you come over here and check out the bedrooms um so we have a bedroom right here this is the, like the first bedroom upstairs and then you have a bathroom a shared bathroom between these two then you have another bathroom right here which is cool um he's gonna come over here and check over that spot and then oh yeah we have another bedroom right here which has their own bathroom so pretty much um three bedrooms two bathrooms over here and then you have a really big open um loft space for the kids or whatever and it has its own bathroom so they're gonna go ahead and they're checking out to see if they like it or not it's a very it's a very limited plan it's nice um it's really nice though it's really open um definitely very spacious the downstairs is huge i'm pretty sure you can even make this part like the like the kitchen this part like the living room and dining room situation there's just so much room in this house at least downstairs and upstairs is a bit tight at least with this bedroom this bedroom is pretty small but it's nice and spacious so i do like it so um this is house number one i will give you guys another look at the outside of this house um, definitely very modern looking. Uh, and then the back. It's like that. And then we have all this room just to play around with. So yeah, this is the first house, which is nice. So now we're going to go ahead and head over to the second house. Um, the second house is right here. So we are going to go, of course, with them. We'll see how this one turns out. So again, um, my biggest cramp about the first house is um, there's no office space. Uh, I think office space will be very big for him because, again, with his program, I definitely think he wants somewhere to get away from that. But, of course, he can always put his office in his master, so that's always something. Anyways, this is the second house. Um, kind of is reminding me of the first house. It's just I should have put some windows there, but I didn't. But I might put some there later. But anyways, so we have the driveway, then the walk up to the inside. So let's go get ahead real quickly. And go Most the the rule! Um, thank you for being house things. So anyways, so what's up? Go knock on the door, child. Okay, <laughs> so we go knock on the door. And we're gonna come in. So there we go. So this is the downstairs, pretty much. Ooh, so it has spiral staircases. So, I mean, a L-shaped stairs, so that's pretty cool. So when you walk in, I'll have them go ahead. I'll come out here and go check it out. So we have big garage right here which is cool and then we have the kitchen it's smaller than the other house this is definitely a smaller space but we have the kitchen um, the dining room and then the, the living room over here um and then we go over here we have this is the laundry room over here i think that's the one thing that the other house actually didn't have was a laundry room so we'd have to fit that in somewhere but there's definitely a lot of space on so we can fit it in but um yeah so we have the laundry room then we have a bathroom for downstairs um and then i guess this is the deck area the back the back is actually pretty is, is definitely more green space and bigger than the last house which is cool and then there's actually a room downstairs so this could definitely be the office space that they were looking at and it has a bathroom which is nice um and there's actually a front patio so if you want to put something there you totally can and if you go upstairs um this is where everything started getting framed out so i'm gonna have them all come upstairs and check out 
the space. So when you come upstairs now, you have, this is the master. It's definitely smaller than the other one. Um, actually, it's actually a pretty decent size if I do some of myself, myself. So this is the master, and then you have the master bath right here, too, which is cool. And then from there, you have um, a bathroom, a small bathroom, and then you have a bedroom, bedroom one, then you have bedroom two, bedroom three, um, definitely smaller bedrooms than the other one. So again, that's another four bedroom. Oh, actually, it's a five bedroom because you could actually count the bedroom downstairs as another bedroom. It's a four bedroom house, um, or five bedroom house, you can kind of say. Um, the only problem is there's only, sadly, there's only, a. Uh, only there's only one bathroom upstairs well there's another one right here but that's the master so i think i don't know but there's a there is a cool open to below for downstairs which is cool which i like um so you have like an open to below type of feature so if someone's in the living room over here you can totally talk to them from upstairs uh i think i might actually build that out and just pop um just pop a bathroom right here i don't know um but it's, it's a work in progress but i do like it though i kind of wish i kind of kept the black stairs going around no clue why i did white and black but anyways it's a nice house though i like it um the bedroom spaces are definitely good enough for the kids um the master's big enough definitely to work with i like how kind of like this this figure it is in that sense well it's like diagonally it's not a typical just a square shaped room which is nice um the downstairs is great too i love the dedicated laundry area there's definitely enough room here to make it into a nice cozy house plus we have the garage over here we can do something with um and then we have the little office space over here with a nice little bathroom so it's definitely a good house i do truly like it um we can let them all come back downstairs and just explore the house a bit more. Oh yeah, we can't go into there. There's no door for the the thing yet. But I love this L-shaped stair. It's so nice. It's, just, it's a nice house. I really like it. Um, and then, let's see. Why don't you go here? Ooh, she needs to pee. Let me just, let me just take care of that real quick. Because there's no bathrooms around here. <laughs> I don't think there is one. I should have probably placed a toilet. Oh yeah, there is the bathroom over here. So, I don't know if I placed a toilet down. We'll have to wait and see. But anyways, yeah, this is house number two. So hopefully you guys like it. Let me know below which one do you like best. But anyways, we are going to go ahead and we are going to go ahead and travel to house number three. Um, house number three is furnished um, a bit. But again, you don't have, we don't have to stick to that furnishing or that layout. It's just furnished in the sense that somebody was planning to live here. But then they said they, they skipped out on it. So again, I just want to let you know it's furnished, but don't, don't, don't because you see the furniture think it's going to look like that again, it could be totally different from when they change it up themselves. So anyways, this is house number two, yes. um, but it's looking really nice. It actually is a two car garage type of thing, which is really nice. Um, it's not a big patio, but it's pretty good actually. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to go and knock on the door. Hopefully the rain starts letting up. It looks like it's going to in a little bit. Um, but... <laughs> Did he not have an umbrella? I thought he does. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and do that. And then here we go. So when you walk into the house, you get hit with straight with a separate dining room, which I do like is a separate dining room area. So this is what it looks like. Um, so you have a separate dining room area over here and then you have the stairs to go upstairs and then you walk into the big situation over here. We have a huge kitchen. This kitchen is massive. Um, and then you have a really nice, massive living room um, that seats one two a seat six people but definitely could seat more if you added more furniture or you, or you um, changed out the seating arrangement but it's a really nice area and then when you walk let me just play it out actually and have them all go explore but then you walk this way you actually have a really cool feature this is like a butler's pantry um so you can like put all their appliances there so it doesn't like block up all the counter space there which is really cool we keep on going we have the dedicated laundry room and then boof we have the first garage which is really nice it's nice and big and then if you keep on going i'll let them all go up and explore a little bit oh yes there's a bathroom here just okay so they can go pee bless okay good um so anyways and then you then you go this way and then you have the bathroom over here which is really nicely done and then you have um, another garage which is for the two-car garage then you have an office space yes so our dude's gonna come over here and check out his office space because this is definitely his spot um this is where he would be he needs to actually go pee so he's gonna go and use the bathroom real quick 
and then he's gonna go here and check out his office space this is really nice though i really like this it's 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 very good use of space and i just love how separated everything is i love how the dining room is separated from the kitchen uh -huh. and that i think it just adds more i don't know it just makes me look more a bit more spacious in my sense but anyways we're gonna go ahead and travel all the way upstairs and we'll see out the layout up here so we have four bedrooms up here so we have ooh, and they're bigger bedrooms than before so we have ooh. so this one has it this is kind of is a really big room and it has its own bathroom which is nice um and then we have another living room not living but a hallway bathroom main bathroom upstairs then you have this room which has like a little a little nook area which is really cool uh and then i'll have everyone come up the stairs to go check out this space Hey guys, this is house number three. I don't know if I show you guys the out. I had to show you guys the outside of the house. Let me show you guys it one more time. Ooh, it looks like the rain starting to stop coming down so hard, which is good. Uh, yeah, this is the outside of the house. If you guys want to see it, it's actually really nice. Uh, but anyways, I'm down to it. So this is the master. But before we go into the master, we have these two bedrooms, which is smaller than the other ones, but it's still a good sized bedroom. And then we have little nook, not nook, but like a little lock area type of, in a sense, you know, where the kids can like put their toys and do whatever they want to do over here. Um, so that's cool. And you have the master, which is definitely a bit small, but it works in a sense. And it has a nook itself and it has its own ensuite, which is cool. So yeah, it's, it's a nice house. And then if you go out to the backyard, we have a lot of space out here, like a really good amount of space. I have no clue, which is, I think, yeah. This is still the biggest backyard. This one over here has the most space in the back, but this is actually a pretty good space. You can definitely put a pool in, have some space for some gardening, and also have some space for the kids to add like their toys in the back. So that's really good. And then there's also so much like utilized space at the front that um, you have a place to play a basketball and then all the other cool stuff. So yeah, it's a really nice house. I really do like it. He's having, he's already cooking. He's having fun here, which we shouldn't be cooking. We'll eat at the the hotel so you can stop cooking that's not right thing to do um but yeah it's a really nice place i really do like it um so let me know what do you guys think of house number three so we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna go and travel to house number four yes there's five houses like i said before so this is house number four and we are gonna travel with everybody again and we'll go explain but yeah out of the three houses i will not tell you which one i like the most because i do not want to sway you guys in a sense i want you guys to leave me as your straight opinions let me guys know okay so now we're gonna go check out house number four so this is what the other house side looks like um so the outside of it is definitely more of like a beachy modern the other, the other houses were definitely more of a modern modern but this is definitely more of a beachy modern or how i thought of like a beach like if you like if you got if you went to like Malibu and they just built a new house by Malibu Beach, I definitely think this is what um it would look like in a sense. So uh, we're gonna go ahead. Oh, I forgot the mailbox again. So we're gonna go ahead and knock on the door real quick. I don't like that. Why don't they just plop the mailbox outside? Why did they gotta like plop it inside the house? Mm. I forgot a mailbox there too. So we're definitely gonna see a mailbox in the house. Did I? Yeah, I forgot a mailbox. Yeah. Oh, glorious. So anyways, yeah. So another look. This is the front of the house. Uh, Garage. Nice. Okay. So when we go inside, what do we see? We see another L-shaped, which is which is funky. This house is definitely more of a funky look if I see because it's backwards. But anyways, so when you walk into the house, you get like, I guess this is like an office spot, which is cool. Um, and then this might be like the living room or dining room. I have no clue what this part is. I'm not really too like digging. I like the outside. I think the outside is cool, but the inside is kind of throwing me off a bit. Won't even lie. Uh, hold up. Let me see. So yeah, I guess this is the kitchen. And this would be like the dining room spot maybe and then this would be like the living room maybe i think it's kind of small but it could work it could definitely work um so yeah so i guess this is downstairs and then you have that but at least he does have his office space which is definitely something he wanted which is cool um and then we will go upstairs okay oh so this is open to below which is fun um it's his bedroom it has so he has one two three okay four bedrooms like always oh but upstairs has actually three bathrooms too which is actually a big plus um it looks like so this is looks like being the master because it has the double doors 
So it's it's it definitely is a square space, but it's it's definitely pretty big. Um, you could definitely fit a lot of. Oh, I guess we're going downstairs. I guess we're talking about it, but you can definitely fit a good amount of um furniture in here. Then it has its own little ensuite, which is cool. And then if you walk this way, you get to bedroom number one and bedroom no bedroom number two, bedroom number three. Um, I guess this one actually has access to the terrace, which is cool. Um, and then this one has, this is like the main bathroom for all three bedrooms. And then you have, ooh, you have a like, oh, maybe this is, I don't know. This is longer than this one. So I guess you have two masters in that sense. Because they're, they're definitely two big rooms. So, um, you have two masters in this place, which is actually a big plus. So that's cool. So you have two masters going on over here. Um, and that's cool for upstairs. So that's pretty much upstairs. And you have the open to below right here, which is cool um and then if you walk inside you have the backyard which is definitely smaller than the other ones because this backyard was definitely more of a design feature but you do have a place to um garden i guess over here would be a place to just like put your children's toys and stuff at which is cool um it's definitely a smaller backyard but um it's cool though i, I like the pattern um the garage yeah so i guess this is actually a pretty good house what i did not see though is a downstairs bathroom so they're definitely gonna have to mix that in somewhere pop a downstairs bathroom somewhere in this vicinity but yeah this is um it's a cool house so um that's it for house number four if you guys want to see um the outside i will say though i do like the outside a lot i think the outside is really cool I really do. I like I like how light it is and kind of beachy it is. If that thing, if that makes any sense. But um, we're gonna go ahead and travel to the final house, which, as you can see over there, is definitely the more of the traditional style house. While the other ones were definitely more modern, this is definitely more traditional in the sense of a suburban house. So um, I'm kind of excited to check it out and see what it looks like. Um, is there anything else I want to say? No, not really. I think that's pretty much it. This is the last one. This is house number five. That's the last one we just saw was house number four. And look at that. I actually really like the outside of this house. Actually, I can't say that. I can't be biased. Um, but I love how traditional it looks out of all the houses. It definitely is missing that, that very flourish modern touch. Ooh, this baby is killing her colito. It's, it's ruining her. Are you okay, baby? Um, I did pause her pregnancy, so, yeah, it's pregnancy, it's paused, so we have time. Um, but awesome! That actually, is, I think I remember the mailbox, because it ain't inside the house, which is cool. So anyways, when you walk into the house, you get into, ooh, there is an office spot. So, we have an office spot right here, which is cool. Actually, no, there's a mailbox right there. But anyways, you got into the room, you have an office spot right here, which is cool quite a dandy and then it looks like we have like a nook that has no door so maybe it's like i think over here would be like the laundry's laundry room slash okay and now i see what's going on so this would be like the ensuite over here would be an ensuite to this and then you put like a just be like a laundry room slash bathroom mix over here so that's cool I guess I just forgot the door. So, anyways, there's that, and then you have the lot. You have the what's called. Let me just let this play out. Um, so they can come over here and check out the house. So we have the dining room right here, which is cool. So you have a really it's it's a, it's a lengthy dining room, but it's a dining room, and then you have the kitchen will most likely be right here, and then you have a really long <laughs> living room, which could be fun to work with. I think this would be a lot of space, but be really fun to see what they can do with it. Um, and give it a little gander, and then you have, of course, the garage right here. But I really like how there's a downstairs area. I think that's cool. Um, so if you go upstairs now, let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. I'm trying to wrap this up. It's already six o'clock. Um, so if you go upstairs, you have um, let's see, one, two, three, four bedrooms. It looks like all the houses we've seen are four bedroom houses, which is pretty good. Well. If you want to count five bedrooms because you have this downstairs so five bedrooms if you if you want to say so anyways this is the i don't know this looks like it's the master if i'm not mistaken it's, it's pretty big um and it has no it's not actually the master uh because this has a jack and jill bathroom and then this is like the main bathroom i think so it has the jack and jill these actually are really big bedrooms if i do so myself and then if you go here you have i'm guessing oh i'm guessing this is the master then yeah i think this is the master here it's funny because i think this room is bigger so maybe i think you'd like change this and make this the master and maybe make this one into like 
just a downstairs bathroom if that makes any sense um no the main bathroom they throw this one to the master i don't know this is this is a lot of space right here this looks like it looks like this would be the master bedroom and then you have four other spaces over here which is like a nice set yeah there's three there's three bathrooms upstairs which is good four bedrooms upstairs and you have a little lofted area right here which is cool too for the kids to play around with so yeah it's a pretty nice pretty nice situation um outside it is definitely smaller <laughs> than all the other ones i think this is the smallest backyard of all of them like this is, this is pretty small um it's insanely small if you ask me um but it can be worked with you can always you never truly honestly we never really go in the backyard that much so we never really go oh my god stop talking just pissing people off uh she's just pissing diego off isn't she yeah i don't even know but anyways yeah, it's a nice house though. It has everything we need. So, um, everything should I say they need. So anyways guys, I want you guys to let me know down below what do you guys think of the houses we've seen. So we've seen house number one, two, three, four, and five. So one, two, three, four, five. We can always rewind the we can always rewind the video to go back and see what the house looks like. Um and yes, let me know down below which guys, which house do you guys think? Um, you know, so you'll be you can either tell me down below or there will be um, a little thing on the side to um, ask you guys a little question on um, what you guys want to see. So there'll be like a little, I don't know what to call it, like points table. Okay, not points table, but like I don't know what you would call it, a graph. <sighs> It's something. You'll see it. I forget what it's called. There's a name for it, and I can't remember it at the moment. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and head back to our apartment. Um, we are going to head back, not with, no, why we go with Rosie? We're going to go through our apartment, and we're going to head off home. And I think that's pretty much it for today. We are back in the apartment, and we have to figure some stuff out. Because, in a sense we leave on monday monday morning is the cutoff point or pretty much maybe sunday night pretty much whatever happens um if i end up the part on sunday night then that'll be the part that they move if i end it off on monday morning then that'll be the part where they move they just they're gonna leave on sunday by tuesday no one will be living in this apartment pretty much and the thing is um on their way home back from you know from seeing the houses i guess they were just more encouraged and thinking that they really want to be married before the kid comes i don't know that's just something they want to do and i know it might be a bit rushed but they're planning on having the wedding on friday um he does have work on friday but he will suffer it and you know they don't really need the money and he'll suffer it not suffer it, but he, he they don't need the money in that sense but they will um do that so i'm gonna go ahead and add an event that day um i want to kind of get rid of the talent show but um we're gonna have an event and, and we're gonna put on why is it on wedding so we're gonna go for a wedding and so yeah it, it's a bit rushed but they do want to rush it before the baby comes on um, the baby is projected to come on either saturday or sunday so um friday we the best time for them in that sense and plus there's no holidays then and plus um Gianluca kind of promised the kids that he would take the trick-or-treating and have a little halloween party for his little kids because it'll be their first Halloween and he really wants to do something for them. Um, and then guess wise, we are going to have, of course, wait. Oh yeah, she doesn't know a lot of people. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll have him do it. So, um, where is it? No. So we're going to do add a social event to Friday. Um, add an event. We are going to do a wedding of course and then we will invite flora we'll invite um our sisters sure sure um yep uh shelby no vanessa can definitely come his youngings can come she's coming she's coming um no 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 that's not coming you're coming um tori's not coming lyrica's coming um isabella can come Let's see, Seth can come. Where's his mother? I'm pretty sure that's his brother. So he can come, um, I think that's it. And we invited, we invited our mom, right? Yeah, our mom's coming, they're all coming. Kids are coming, they're coming. Okay, um, 
I think that's good. Oh, we'll also invite Mariah because she's a friend. Um, we also will invite, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it for people we're going to invite to the, the wedding. Fortune people, caterer. We don't really need one. Um, we'll make our own food before we go to the wedding. Mixologist. I will go ahead and invite a mixologist. A musician. Sure. Um, but there we go. So we're going to go ahead and have this wedding. And it's going to be at... I'm pretty sure I have a wedding venue somewhere. Somewhere. Like it's there. I know I have it. Like, oh, there it is. Um, and then it's going to be around... Let's say we'll be around 12 p.m. on Friday. There we go. Hopefully... Okay, it's going to rain here. But hopefully, on God, it does not rain on friday and i'm pretty sure that place is, is an um oh god i can't remember the name of this but hopefully it doesn't rain that day that'd be great um so anyways they go ahead and they're planned their engaged wedding so that's awesome so they're gonna be getting married in two days and in the next part or probably maybe at the end of this part somebody is going to be going into labor because this baby is coming any minute now any minute so um she's still feeling she's getting the little bit of what's this she wants to take some oh she wants to cure sickness with a cup of tea do we even have we don't even have tea um but i will say though is that we are going to be working pretty hard today because she definitely wants to um help them all move out uh she does want all the money right here in this inventory is going straight to them uh, not all pretty much 90 percent um, she does kind of have a place in mind where she wants to go, but the only thing about it is that it was, um, the place she's looking at, it was an um, old factory, so she can't really go look at it. Um, she saw pictures of it, and she kind of already made arrangements to buy it. Um, yeah, she kind of has to talk to Seth about it, but then she doesn't want because, you know, it's her place. Why does she need to talk about Seth? Why does she need to talk to Seth about buying her own place, you know? It's like, it's something she wants to do, you know? So she should feel no need to talk to him about it but anyways she might go ahead and do it send them a little text saying yo so um yeah she's gonna send him a text saying yo so don't worry about me living with you because i'm going to find my own place so yeah pretty much that's it and hopefully takes the bait and gets pissed off and says oh my god i'm sorry we should have and pulls like he won't do it but she's hoping you know girl can help um so anyways does he have work today? He does not have work today. He only works Monday, Tuesdays, and Fridays. It's actually pretty good. Uh, so he's actually going to go ahead and he is going to do some programming. We're going to program. We'll do continue side job. Then our girl is going to... Um, can't she? Oh, she can't even go for a job because she's that pregnant. Well, I guess she can come over here and she can practice sparring at least. They can't go for jogs, but they can definitely spar. Does that make any sense? Not to me, it does. But um, I guess it does in the game in Sims. So, anyways, she's gonna go ahead and she's gonna spar. Have some fun doing that. And then hopefully this comes out good quality. I'm um, praying. Um, and then we're gonna just have her continue doing this for a while. And so we can make those books. What's this? Ooh, it's a masterpiece. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and... Ooh, yeah, we're also gonna be planning a baby shower for our girl, Raya. Her baby shower is going to be tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. Uh, probably should have been today because tomorrow's gonna be Harvest Fest. So we might have her baby shower on... We'll have to have it tomorrow on Thursday, but tomorrow's the harvest. Okay, we'll have to mix it up. We'll have her, we'll have her baby shower tomorrow. It should have totally been today, but I'm so behind. I might just bump her into that. I might do that. I might just plan her baby shower for today, and then yeah, tomorrow we'll have to figure it out then. But um, anyways, guys, I'm actually gonna go ahead and end off this part here. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this part, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Deuces. Peace. Bye, guys. See you guys later. Oh no, I think I've lost my mind.